So I had a couple of weeks in the summer that was uh, dead slow and then boom, then I just had things coming out the yin yang, uh, different variety too. So if you don't follow the channel, I am a pro photographer here in New Orleans and I basically do everything. Uh, this is my 30th year in business and uh, I do everything from food to weddings to high school seniors to interior work to real estate, like you name it, the phone rings, I can say yes give them a price, move forward. Uh, so anyway, on this food image, I want to show you uh, Mr. Crystal, Mr. Miss Crystal Pitcher was in a Food Network uh, chef, you know, Carla Hall. She had a little competition on Instagram and uh, this was what she entered. Super dope, right? Like self-taught chef, super creative, I was excited to get that phone call. So look, I've been photographing food for a real long time to several restaurants in town. And uh, my good friend, Joe Glida, um, he worked for Craft Foods for like 35 plus years. Uh, great guy, really good artist, awesome with uh, Photoshop, the camera, lighting, you name it. He's just a great guy. I get the money and it's right on cue. But I took one of his classes before and his knowledge on shooting food is bar none and 100% my images have looked better ever since I uh, been hanging with with Joe and uh, I don't have to call him very often but when I do it's kind of neat knowing that I have somebody that has done this before on a commercial largely commercial level and uh, I, I can trust him with his answers you know, you know what I'm saying so if you've ever bought a box of Kraft macaroni and cheese he's the dude him and his team photographed those noodles on the front uh, amongst thousands of other things that he has uh, worked on through Kraft Foods. See that big building over there? That's where I'm going. Driving to a, a job downtown. I have a little real estate job. Uh, special thanks to uh, my buddy uh, Ken Schallenberg. He, uh, he does a lot of real estate work. So uh, I've given him a call or two in the past just to kind of say, hey, at what height do you normally have your tripod set at when you're doing these rooms? So, you know, make your make as many friends as you can in this industry because everybody has something to offer. As small as the detail as it is, it's probably something big for you, especially if you don't know what you're doing <laughs> or if you just need assistance on doing it better. So recently, I was also commissioned to work with uh, event producers. They are a company that specializes in custom building things for event uh, celebrations, parties, game day stuff. I mean, you name it, they do it. And they have a huge event in College Station coming up at the end of the month that I'll be flying out to for their Home Depot client. Uh, it's their activation on game day. So that's gonna be cool. I don't have that to show you right now, but I do have this quickie little highlight video that I actually did with the combination of my uh, Pocket 3 and the uh, X-H2S Fuji. I'm curious, can you tell which camera did which? <laughs> So look, I get a chance to uh, work from home a lot. I love my Mac laptop. That sucker does everything I need it to do as far as 
uh, how powerful it is and it allows me to uh, work anywhere, honestly. And uh, I just wanted to kind of close this out by saying photography to me is a journey. It has always been not only a business, but it's also been like my path through my life. And I get to experience so many different people and uh, I love being able to do all kinds of different things in photography. And I know we're getting into like an AI world and I see that as a tool to help me do what I'm doing. And uh, I do not see it replacing human photographers anytime soon. So uh, I am 52 years old. I've been in business for 30 years and I have another 20 years to go. <laughs> Easy. Uh, yeah, so I'm glad you're here for my journey. I will definitely see you uh, in the next video. I have many, many, many more projects to show you. And if you have any questions about the business of photography or any specifics that you um, may be a little stuck with in the camera or the lighting, whatever, just leave it in the comments. Everybody here is usually cool. Uh, we don't attract haters on this channel. and uh, I'm proud of that, all right? All right, you guys, stay focused on your dreams. See ya. <laughs>